Hello YouTube, welcome into a part zero for Vietnam, our upcoming Let's Play for YouTube. Uh, all you lovely people, and uh, and part of our One More Marathon Marathon. That's right. It's redundant. Don't worry about it. But we're talking about Vietnam today. Vietnam, one of the newer civs in the game, and an incredibly powerful one for my money. I was joking here as we were looking over game setup and things like that on stream that Drive Out the, the Aggressors is better than the sum total of other civs' entire kits. Uh, why is that? Because it's amazing. It's amazing. Let's talk about Drive Out the Aggressors. Plus five combat strength for units fighting in rainforest, marsh, or woods. One extra movement if you begin your turn there. And both of these are doubled if that tile's in your territory. It's incredibly powerful. You're talking about potentially 10 combat strength and two free movement. Uh, and, and chat has confirmed to me that I, I hadn't remembered, but chat confirmed to me that that movement also applies to builders and settlers. That's insane. That is insane. Extra movement early on on builders and settlers just just speeds up the game. It really compresses the the expansion phase. So much of that is limited by uh, you know to move it being able to only move two t two two tiles at a time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, speeding that up with builders, either either you know getting in position for a chop or just getting that settler out and going uh, early on is amazing. Not to mention the turtle ability of 10 extra combat strength potentially in uh, rainforest, marsh, and woods. Um, really, really good on the aggressive too. Like these apply in your opponent's territories, not the, not the doubled value, but like in, in opponent's territories, getting extra movement and combat strength, really, really good. She's a very, very uh, adept domination ziv for that reason we may or may not go that direction at least a little so much of that always comes down to neighbors forward settling etc etc uh but certainly has the abilities to do domination stuff we'll see uh nine dragon river delta all specialty land districts can only be built on rainforest woods and marsh so that is a limitation that is a downside ability you do not have as much flexibility as you normally would uh, for, for placing a campus where you need it to be, or, you know, anything, any of your specialty districts, which doesn't apply to our encampment, by the way. Um, so it is a, that, that's a bit of a downside, but the upside comes, comes from once you start to get the buildings, once you start to get the buildings, depending on what you've built your district on, which by the way, it keeps all of the things underneath it. It, it actually, like normally when you override a rainforest hill, that rainforest goes away. This actually stays, and so does the subsequent, um, subsequent like appeal and things like that, uh, if I remember correctly. So, uh, but once we start getting a build, our buildings, culture on woods, science on rainforest, and production on marsh, all of these are good. You shouldn't, you shouldn't really stress too much with, oh, I really need to put this on that so I can get science, or this on that so I can get culture. You can think about that. You can, you can plan when appropriate. But getting any of these is, they're all good. This is an upside ability after the downside ability, um, and and that's pretty darn cool. Then we also get to plant woods early, and that that that's nice because like in some cities you may want to have you know one of those surfaces to place a district on, and so getting that earlier on at medieval fairs is quite nice. Also, planting woods early allows us to start thinking about national parks earlier. It's it's only planting woods. We don't get we don't actually unlock the parks early, but you can do some cute appeal stuff in in anticipation of that. Uh, starting at the at medieval fairs or or things with uh, preserves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so a pretty cool ability. Not the craziest, most ridiculous uh, ability in the world, but it pairs really well with her kit. She's a fun a fun design sieve. On top of that, we have the Voichen, which are a uh, unique crossbow replacement. Has additional movement and can move after attacking. That's insane, especially in, in conjunction with Drive Out the Aggressors. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, stronger when defending, more expensive. Makes sense. And have greater sight. Really, really cool stuff. Ideally, these go on hills. Um, on hills with features, uh, and and that site can help you as well. Just spot to just to just to m navigate the battlefield and 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 plan your moves and stuff. Really, really cool. Uh, a really really cool crossbow replacement. Crossbow, one of the more relevant uh, units in the game. Like sometimes you'll tech up to crossbows and then forget about the military side of the map and hope that your crossbows can keep you safe throughout most of the game. Uh, and hers is particularly good. So. Cool stuff there. Again, really, really adept at domination if we want to go that route. Uh, and then we have our unique 
district, which replaces the encampment. It is no longer a specialty district, although typically encampments are, and that's so we don't get to double dip on this ability for them. However, we get two culture for every adjacent district. After flight is researched, we get tourism equal to the culture output. So that can actually be up to about 12 culture. Uh, this district does not require population, is cheaper to build, and cannot be built next to your city center. Doesn't provide great general points and is not a specialty district. So you can build these as like a, a, a big cultural hub. Uh, and then it's also an encampment with a shot. Uh, no, no general points from it and uh, not a specialty district. But that's good too because I think we get flexibility with placing them because we don't, we're not restricted by nine Dragon River Delta. So you can plan these and then plan your districts around it. Overall, uh, it gives you it gives you options as a space race civ. It gives you options as a domination civ. The one weird thing for them is is religion. Don't know if we'll go that route in our game or not. Uh, but we might think about culture. I think I think getting tourism out of these is, is really neat. Uh, we can do some stuff with appeal and preserves and stuff like that. Uh, lots of different options. We'll we'll see how the game goes. This is our general setup here. Uh, we're gonna play on a standard side size map on wetlands. Uh, the game is also New World Age with wet and uh lower sea level just to juice the map ever so slightly in our direction so thanks for watching i hope these videos continue to be helpful for you and uh if so please uh please please like subscribe comment all that good stuff thanks for watching youtubers appreciate it